We chose the classic telecom customer Tron dataset to proceed with our experiment. We need to check the data by eye. Here we can see there are a lot of features listed. And the output to train and validate is at the last column, Tron. Firstly, we use info function to check the data types and non-null values. After getting a quick statistical summary of the numerical columns with describe fifth function, we notice that many columns are categorical, meaning that we need to convert them to dummy variables. Then we try to evaluate the significance of certain features. After confirming that there are no not a number values, we can plot some distributions. While the value of total charges doesn't show some distribution, just between churn categoricals, the outputs on the different contract types have different trends. We are unable to check all the futures in this way, so we use the correlation function to evaluate the significance of features. We converted the categoric features to dummy variables to draw a bar plot, and the most significant categorical feature we got was a contract month to month. Now we tried a little further analysis. Since the contact type somehow relates to the tenure, we segmented customers based on their tenures, creating cohorts, allowing us to examine the difference between customer cohort segments. By plotting the distribution of customers under different tenures, contracts, and the churn categories, we can see people are more likely to churn if the contract is month to month and uh, the tenure is shorter. Similarly, according to the sector plot, the total charts and the monthly charts also somehow affect the result. Even grouped those features, they all show a good distinction. This makes us believe that the train model can be applied to the training. And finally, we can try our four different tree based methods a single decision tree, random forest, ADA boost, and gradient boosting. We separated the data into X features and Y label. Then we created dummy variables for those categorical features and noted customer ID feature is not useful and should be dropped. We performed a train test split, holding out 10% of the data for testing. We used a random state of 101 in the split. As for the evaluation of results, we chose performance metrics. As we can see, the most important feature of single decision tree training is tenure, which fits our analysis above. At last, the accuracy of single decision tree was 0.81. What of random forest was 0.8. What of ADA boost was 0.83. What of gradient boosting was 0.882. With these models, although most models performed about the same on this specific data set. Still, we got the best performance from an Adaboost classifier. And that's it for our report. Thanks for listening.